I've decided that it's time for me to retire from the head coaching position of UCLA Gymnastics. I practiced this for over a year because uh, I knew it was going to be tough, but I had no idea how tough it was going to be. I absolutely love getting up and coming to UCLA and working on this program every day. I have a ball. So imagine how scary that is that I am choosing to give that up. I also want to make this announcement now because I knew it was, it was going to be really, really difficult to go through the year with this secret. And every time I've looked in our student athletes' eyes, even the last year, I felt like I wasn't honest with them. And I didn't like that feeling. And I didn't want to have my last year be like that. So when I did tell them, um, I told them there was going to be a lot of noise and I wanted them to know the truth. And I know that some of the noise is gonna be that my breast cancer has returned, and it has not. I'm fine, I'm wonderfully healthy. Um, some of the noise that I've heard is that I wanna go become the president of the US AG. Okay, that's not true either. Some of the noise is that I'm just done. I just don't wanna do it anymore. And that's not the truth either, because I really love my job. The truth is that I just feel like it's time. Yeah! That was awesome. The athletes were amazing. You know, there was a lot of tears and they were, they asked me a few times to make sure that it, I wasn't sick. Um, and I promised them that that is not the case. Uh, but it was so cool for them to come up and say, that one of the things that they've learned from me is that gymnastics is, is a sliver of their life. It's not their whole life. The gymnastics doesn't define them as who they are. And me being the head coach of the UCLA, UCLA gymnastics team doesn't define who I am. And especially the older ones said that the one thing that they always really appreciated about me is that I encourage them to go do the other things in their lives that they are really looking forward to do. Like Caitlin Ohashi writes poetry and she's gone and performed at open mic events. And Pua Hall, I encouraged her to get her real estate license two years ago when she was still a student athlete here. And she told me that me encouraging her to do that helped her fall in love with gymnastics all over again because gymnastics then found its place in her life and her day and it wasn't her whole life and it wasn't her whole identity. So. I'm living that now, and I know that that is the culture that will live on after I'm gone because it's so ingrained in everything that we do. I'd like to say thank you to the Bruin fans and the gymnastics fans that have embraced my way of coaching and teaching and um, that can appreciate how much fun and love and joy I have with my job and that I impart on our team. I told the my co-author of my book, I said, um, I can't print my book because people are gonna read it thinking that they're gonna glean all of this information from this seven-time national championship coach and I said they're gonna read it and they're gonna realize I'm a total whack job and he looked at me so sincerely and he said you are a whack job that's why you have to write the book because you give you give all of us other whack jobs permission just to be ourselves and that is how I feel I've led this program just doing some crazy things and I just want to say thank you and I want to say thank you to UCLA for giving me an amazing career, an amazing life, and most of all, amazing relationships that I will carry on for the rest of my life. And I want to thank UCLA for welcoming me back. I don't know in what capacity that will be, but I live 10 minutes from school, so I'm going to be here all the time. And um, 
Instead of dancing on the competition floor, I'll be dancing up in the stands. But I'll be dancing.